Hello beautiful top tenners, how are you doing today? Well I hope, I'm Rebecca Felgate, this is Most Amazing Top 10. So here at Top 10 we really really love our subscribers and sometimes you guys leave us suggestions of what to film next. So sometimes we think heck why not, this is a really good idea and we're gonna do it. Today is such a day, I present to you the top 10 things you can do with science. I feel like I should be wearing like a lab coat and some glasses, like some goggles. I need those. So over the course of this video I will be discussing things that science has made possible that a few hundred years ago we couldn't do. So things we can do with science, getting a horrible one out of the way, at number 10 we have splitting the atom. Without a molecular and nuclear understanding of science we would not know how to split the atom, we wouldn't even know what an atom is. Now atoms are the building blocks of everything around you, they're made up of particles and in turn they make up molecules. Now by splitting an atom to cut like a really really long story, scientists were able to create an exothermic reaction and the results were devastating. When the atomic bombs were dropped in Japan in 1945, it was one of the most horrendous things to have happened in wartime ever. Let's get cheerier shall we? In at number 9 we have Fly. R. Kelly rejoice, flying is a possibility for everyone. Now physical science was the key ingredient to the invention of aeroplanes. By observing flight in nature, scientists were able to develop the theory of flight. So when a particle is heavier than air, like an aeroplane absolutely is, then a balance of weight, drag, thrust and lift must be found. Now calculating how much weight, drag, thrust and lift is done by using scientific equations. Without this understanding we would not have been able to develop aircraft or hot air balloons or any kind of air vessel. From flying to space exploration, in at number 8 we have exploring and understanding space. The final frontier. The idea that we could put something, let alone someone, into space a few hundred years ago was simply ludicrous, but rejoice, science has it covered. Understanding the energy needed to propel a rocket into space, understanding the difference in temperature, pressures and gravity outside our earth is now possible with science. Similarly by taking astronauts out into the ether we were able to study other planets, see what's out there. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope alone has found traces of water in the atmospheres of five planets, this is an important discovery. Bringing it back down to earth at number 7 we have predicting the weather. Don't you love it when you can check the forecast and you know it's going to be raining so you can pack an umbrella, you know it's going to be snowing so you can pop on your snow booties or you know the sun's going to shine so you can plan a glorious picnic, well you have science to thank for that. With a careful application of science and technology humans can now predict the weather on an hour to hour basis. This is how we know about storms, this is how we know about heat waves, this is how we can predict tsunamis. Now predicting the weather works by measuring barometric pressure and predicting fluid patterns by using equations of thermodynamics and fluid dynamics. I think I'd really enjoy being a weather girl like sun over here, cloud over here, sweeping sun. Getting pretty exciting at number 6 we have freeze stuff, yes freeze stuff. Say for example you have some fruit or vegetables or even some leftover pizza or Chinese food and you don't want to eat it right away, you can just pop that baby in the freezer and it will be good for months to come. Hooray for science. science! Now science dictates what foods can be safely stored in a freezer and defrosted and you can literally keep things for a really long time. Ice lollies, science has your back. I'm still totally hoping that scientists can develop freeze rays because how cool would that be like freeze ray. In at number 5 of the top 10 things you can do with science we have cook. Crazy about chocolate cake, nutty about nut loaf, mad about macaroons, in love with lasagna, you can thank science for that one. Now cooking is chemistry, combining raw ingredients and encouraging them to react under a certain temperature is science. science. For example you take egg, sugar, flour, butter, you just pop them next to each other and nothing's gonna happen, however if you mix them up, pop them in the oven, then cake happens. Ladies and gentlemen, cake is science. One of my personal favourites at number 4, you can make fireworks. Now this is kind of along the same lines as cooking but definitely not the same as splitting the atom. Like with cooking food, making fireworks relies on chemical reactions. Now chemical reactions happen when particles react with others in various conditions. I love the fun chemical reactions we can play with making fireworks. You can get all kinds of different colours, it's really cool. So for example sodium as found in salt emits a strong yellow colour when it burns, copper causes a blue colour, we kind of have a burning green when you burn beranium, it's all very exciting. In at number 
three, we have clone things. So when the double helix structure of DNA was discovered by Crick and Watson in 1953 in a pub in Cambridge, our hometown, they opened up a whole world of possibilities. I feel like the best scientific discoveries were made over a good pint. So cloning in biotechnology refers to the process used to create copies of DNA fragments. Now molecular cloning has led to us successfully cloning a sheep in 1997. As of yet, we haven't cloned a human being, but scientists say that the technology is available. We've got the knowledge it could happen, but this opens up a whole can of worms in terms of ethical debates. In at number two, we have genetic modification to create new species. So genetic modification is when DNA has been altered and combined with other DNA to create an entirely new set of genes, so a new species. Fun fact for you: scientists in South Korea were able to genetically modify cats to create glow-in-the-dark cats. Science made this possible. Is it a nightmare? Is it a dream? I don't know, but I love it. So guys, we have reached that all important spot and our top 10 things you can do with science and for me this is the most important one and the most useful one. In at number 1, we have cure disease and illness. So understanding what causes diseases and illness was the first scientific step to being able to cure the problem with vaccines and antibiotics etc. So let me put this into perspective for you. Not so long back in the past, polio was one of the biggest killers of children. However, since it was vaccinated, we have now almost eradicated the disease entirely. In the 14th century, the Black Death killed around 50 million people, so around 60% of the population of Europe back then. But these days, no worries, science has you back. So guys, I am pretty pumped about science right now. I want to go back and learn some more. I did get an A in science in school, so I hope this video sounded like half legit. I'm Rebecca Felgate. This has been Most Amazing Top 10. What do you think is possible with science in the future? Do let me know in the comments section down below. What about like teleportation and time travel? Fingers crossed. So guys, keep on watching, keep on liking, keep on sharing, keep on subscribing. We will love you for it. I will see you next time.